Your doctor recommends that you have a procedure called trabeculectomy to help treat your glaucoma. Glaucoma is caused by increased pressure in the eye. Trabeculectomy, also called filtration surgery, helps lower eye pressure by improving how fluid drains from the eye. In the healthy eye, fluid called aqueous humor is made in the front of the eye and flows out through a tiny drain called the trabecular meshwork. The trabecular meshwork is located in an area called the drainage angle. If fluid doesn't flow out of the drainage angle properly, eye pressure increases and damages the optic nerve. With trabeculectomy, your eye surgeon creates a tiny channel in the white part of your eye to help drain fluid and lower pressure. Trabeculectomy is usually done as an outpatient procedure, so you can go home afterwards. Before the surgery, you will be given anesthesia to numb the eye so you do not feel pain. You may also be given a medicine to help you relax during surgery. An injection may be given around or behind the eye to keep it from moving. You may only feel pressure in your eye during surgery. During trabeculectomy surgery, your ophthalmologist makes a tiny incision in the conjunctiva, the clear lining over the sclera, or the white of the eye. This is done under your upper eyelid and near the edge of the iris. Next, he or she will create a small flap in the sclera underneath the incision. Then a tiny piece of tissue is removed under the flap to make an opening into the eye. A small piece of the iris may also be removed to keep it from blocking the opening. This opening serves as a new channel for fluid to drain gradually from the eye, reducing pressure. The flap is sewn back into place with tiny stitches, which help guard against too much fluid draining out at once. The area where fluid drains from the trabeculectomy is called a filtering bleb. As fluid filters out of the eye and into the bleb, it looks like a bubble. Because the bleb is under the eyelid, it is not usually visible. As with any surgery, there are possible risks with trabeculectomy. Trabeculectomy risks can include increased eye pressure, failure to control eye pressure with the need for another surgery, either soon after surgery or much later, eye pressure that is too low, abnormal collection of fluid in the eye with the need for a second surgery, problems with the bleb such as infection or trauma, damage to the cornea and or sclera, bleeding in the eye, infection, ongoing swelling in the eye, lens becoming cloudy, ongoing irritation or discomfort in the eye, and partial or complete loss of vision. There are alternatives to having a trabeculectomy. You may be able to have another type of glaucoma surgery, or you might be able to use eye drop medicine. Your ophthalmologist can explain why he or she chose trabeculectomy to treat your glaucoma. You do not have to have a trabeculectomy for your glaucoma. However, without lowering your eye pressure, you may continue to lose vision. If it is left untreated or partially treated, glaucoma can lead to blindness. Remember that trabeculectomy does not improve your vision but instead helps prevent loss of sight in the future. Treating your glaucoma is important for protecting your vision and your quality of life. If you have any questions or concerns about trabeculectomy, ask your ophthalmologist. He or she will be happy to help you understand the risks and the benefits of this glaucoma treatment. Also, if you have any questions or concerns about your eyes or your vision in general, don't hesitate to bring them up. Your ophthalmologist is committed to protecting your sight.